Hi, it's Felina. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. And I'm sorry I'm doing this uh, by voiceover, but it's been sort of a busy, well, it has been a busy day. And I had company over the weekend, and then uh, last night and this morning I was up cleaning. I woke up energetic yesterday morning, and then I got up and I wasn't very late for my doctor's appointment. Uh, I made it. Nothing wrong, just a checkup. But, and then uh, my sister uh, wanted to stop at Walmart, which I needed something from there, too. And then we had, like, a late lunch. So, I'm just kind of beat. So, I thought, I wanted to talk about this movie, Eye for an Eye, which is a 1996 movie. And... I'll give you the other details, but I'm going to show the clip, the one I used to promote this for. And I'm going to let you see the director's name, because I know I'm going to butcher the name. I may some of the actors, and I'm sorry if I do, but here's the clip, and I'll let you see his name. I wanted to help set up. Oh. Is Maria there? I sent her and Megan over to the Hunsaker so the decorations would be a surprise. Oh, you're such a sweetie. Uh, listen, I hate to tell you this. I'm going to be late. I'm stuck in some horrific traffic jam. What else is new? All right, all right. Oh, did you pick up the balloons? Got the balloons. I had an idea about the streamers. I thought that maybe if we connected... Uh, honey, would you put some towels on the floor underneath the ice sculpture so it doesn't ruin the rug right now? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Someone's at the, the door. Coming. Hi. <gasps> Julie? <gasps> Julie? <gasps> What's happening? Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? Okay, Sally Field, uh, she plays Karen Moran. And you saw what happened. This is not a spoiler. This happens right at the beginning of the movie. Well, I th we, see, uh, we see them as a family at first, you know, briefly. And it goes to the scene. And what it is, uh, she's stuck in a traffic jam. And they're preparing for the younger daughter's birthday party. And her 17-year-old daughter is at home. And she's helping with the decorating. And she's, you know, she's stuck. Her biggest problem is she's stuck in a traffic jam. Life is good. But then she overhears this person come in on her daughter. And she hears what's happening. And, oh, I cannot imagine this. She doesn't want to let go of the phone. Because she wants to, to stay connected. She's hearing all this. And she's going, uh, I didn't go on that far, but she's going to everyone else, trying to get them to call the police to get to her house. Some of them look like, at her like she's crazy. Uh, but there, one uh, nice lady finally does call, but it's too late. The worst has happened, and I mean the very worst. And I, I just, I can't imagine being, I don't have children of my own. I, I wanted them, it just didn't happen for me. But I cannot imagine being a parent and going through this. I honestly cannot. And Sally Field, I, I think she's one of the greatest actresses ever, and I sincerely mean that. I've never seen her do a bad job in anything. She's always excellent. So, and let me talk a little bit more about some of the other characters. Okay. This movie also stars uh, Ed Harris, who plays her husband, and Julie's uh, stepdad. But 
feel like he was more of a dad to her. Because her real dad wasn't in the picture. He's never had much to do with her, as she puts it in the movie. She says something to that effect. And I feel like uh, he feels really like her father. And, uh, okay. We have Joe, I hope I say this name right. I'm probably going to butcher it. But, Montaigne, okay, um, I'll list the names, um, in the description, I'll, I'll list the names, but, and it also stars the bad guy in the movie, Kiefer Sutherland, and, oh, let me say, just let me say, oh, he's a good actor, because he can play P.O.S., so good. Oh, he will make you so, so angry. Because it's not a spoiler to tell you he did it. You know this. He gets arrested, but he he's let, he's let go on some kind of legal technicality. And the way he is, oh, 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 he just makes you so angry. But... And also, I just want to go ahead and say, also, uh, and I hope that I get this name right, this was also, the, it's uh, uh, actually um, inspired by the novel of the same name, which is written by Erica Holzer, H-O-L-Z-E-R. So I haven't read the book. I think maybe I'd like to. Um, some, you know, I'm curious a lot of times to see the differences, and, because a lot of times there are differences, but yes, I'd like to read the book. Okay, I'm sorry, I neglected to get, uh, I'm sure she's not a little girl anymore, this was 96, it's a 1996 movie, but this is the younger daughter, and oh my, how, the telling her, oh, that, that's a tough scene to watch. How can you expect some someone of her age to take this in? And there is a point in the movie where it seems like that Sally Field's character is sort of... She's in her own world. Um, you feel like she's sort of... She doesn't mean to. Like she's sort of neglecting like her family, you know. But that gets... That gets straightened out, but she is a woman on a mission, is what it is. She doesn't mean to do that. She uh, obviously she is. She she feels like she's broken after what happened to Julie. And to make things worse is is his behavior. Like I said, you know he's the one who did it, and he does not make it a secret from her. At all. But anyway, this, this little girl did a really good job in it. I wish I'd gotten her name. I'm sorry I didn't. But I'll have to look her up too. So, let's talk about the bad guy for a while. Okay, well, first of all, though, uh, beauty before the beast, so to put it. Uh, Alexandra Kyle is the younger daughter, Megan. And there's a picture of her. And she's turned into a very pretty young lady. I've probably seen her in other things and don't remember because she does look familiar to me. So, just wanted to, since I didn't have her name, wanted to show her. Okay, so here is our monster. Okay, the Kiefer Sutherland. And, of course, I can separate actor from character. I know he's acting, okay. But, yes, he did a good job of playing what he played. And his name is, in, in the movie, the character name is Robert Doob or Doob or, um, not, it's D-O-O-B. I really didn't listen close enough because I really didn't care. To be honest, he is horrible. He's just horrible. 
as I said, he he thinks he's out of this, which, well, legally, he actually sort of is. You know, technicalities. He's running free. But he makes it no secret to uh, Karen, Sally Phillips, character. He makes no secret at all that he's the one that does it. He tries to rub it in. And, oh, as if that isn't bad enough, he does start to approach Megan. And he does it at one point when uh, Megan and Karen are together. And he says something very, very disgusting to her. And I just, you're going to feel so many feels in this. You're going to feel, you're going to feel sadness. You're going to feel anger, fear, disgust. But this is such a good movie. I, I, you know, it may not be for you if, if you, it's going to bother anybody with the heart that watches it. But it may not be for you if you've had something happen like this. I would not advise it. But otherwise, I mean, if this is something you think you can handle, it is a very good movie. Like I said, it's not that the police aren't doing anything. It's just technicalities. But, but she knows. She knows he did it. And she thinks he should pay. And like I said, I'll just, that's, I'll leave it at that. She starts to become a woman on a mission. So, check it out. Uh, actually, it's on, I believe it's Hulu right now. And uh, it's a really, really good movie. And I'll be back with my closing thoughts. Okay. I've already, I think I've already said, this is an excellent movie. It really is. You're going to feel so many feels in this. It, it, but like I said, if the if you're someone that can't handle this, it, if you've had an experience or you were close to someone who did, it may not be for you. It's a hard movie to watch. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kid about that. I'm not going to lie to you about that. It is hard to watch. For anyone, I would think anyone with a heart, but it's good. It, it's a very good movie, and like I said, if you can handle it, I would recommend it. I really would. So, I'll be uh, right back to um, say my goodbye, and uh, yeah, if you get a chance and you think this won't bother you, I would recommend watching this. So, be right back. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I, I really appreciate all the views I get. I have some new subscribers, and welcome. And I appreciate all of my subscribers. I appreciate you so much. I'm still a small channel, but I'm trying to grow. And that was my kitty. Uh, she coughed a little bit. She's got feline asthma. She's laying here on my lap. But, I do, I appreciate everything, and don't forget, uh, if you watched, I, I have uh, uh, giveaways going on on my Thankful Thursday, which uh, this Thursday will be the last, and I'm doing the drawing on Black Friday, and also my Taylor Swift reaction, I have uh, Taylor uh, merch that I'm going to be doing a giveaway there, and I'll be doing that on her birthday, which is uh, December 13th, so if you haven't checked those out, please do, and next time I, I do this, I hope to do it, you know, on camera, but this has turned into a busier day, and I'm really beat, I really am, and I thought I would just do voiceover, and I hope you don't mind that. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Comment. If you're going to say something about the movie, if you're going to put a spoiler in. Uh, a lot of things are out in the open, I know. But if there's something you think would be a spoiler, just kind of 
put that because I hate to spoil movies for anyone. If I ever do that, I will give a signal. I, I don't like to, but if I ever do get deeper into a discussion, I will do that. Because I'm going to continue with this. And I'll be doing popular ones as well. But I also want to dig into some that may have been kind of forgotten. So, uh, but yeah, if you if you have something to say, just kind of put spoiler war uh, warning or hide it. And uh, please comment, though. And um, if you would subscribe, I would appreciate that so much. And uh, as I said, I'm going to start stop saying I'm going to go. I guess I'll say I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end here. And I thank you again so much for all the support. I appreciate it. I just got a notification. Why didn't I think to turn it off? I didn't. But anyway, it's okay. Uh, anyway, um, if you would subscribe, uh, it, it would mean a lot to me. It really would. I would appreciate it so much. And share my video. Feel free to do that. I don't mind that at all. I would appreciate it, in fact. And as I said, I'm trying to grow. And, but anyway, I was getting ready to say, oh, uh, yeah, I was getting ready to say, um, uh, I don't like just saying, I've got to go. So I'm just going to say I have to end it here, and I'm going to say be blessed and stay thankful. And I will definitely be talking to you Thursday, and as well as uh, Thankful Thursday, I have a special vlog I plan on doing if nothing goes wrong. And I hope nothing goes wrong because I'm looking forward to it. So I will talk to you then, and whatever it is for you, afternoon, evening, morning, day, night, whatever it is for you, have a great one. And thank you again for watching. Bye.